here's this week's segment of video with the coach. We're going to start off with an offensive run play here. We're going to run the power play. Uh, we're going to illustrate our power play and obviously tailback rush for a bunch of yards, which they did. We averaged almost five yards a carry for the game at tailback. Tailback gets all the credit, but we're going to show you the work that we do up in front and the work that Zoe does in conjunction with his O-line and tight end. So obviously there's the wide shot. Here's a tight shot. We're going to run power. It starts right off. You're going to get Colin Buchanan, right tackle, and Sam McCollum. Our, our right guard is going to get a tremendous double team on the three technique right here and get a good push and that creates air right away. Smitty's got a one-on-one -on -one block on the defensive end 19, does a good job of controlling that block. Our puller comes around, Swartz, he does a good job, gouges Smitty's guy, seals Smitty's guy, 40 sits outside and now Zoe does a nice job of being patient, letting the guys up front work, working north and south, breaking a tackle and turning it into a nice first down. We're going to move on and show you the second run. It's a very similar run. Here's a wide copy power play again. Defense plays it a little different. The backer stays inside this time, and now Zoe hits it out the front door for another first down. So last time, the inside backer scraped the outside, and Zoe hit it inside. This time, you'll see the inside backer number lay. Stay tight again. Good double team this time. 50 decides he's just going to go down and not get moved, which allows Buke now to climb the next level and see her number five. Again, Smitty, great job on the defensive end. Swartzy, no room inside, so he's going to kind of come around the horn. 11 gets tucked inside. Zoe, patient, doesn't predetermine that the ball should go where it went last time, bounces it outside, and then rips it north and south and gets a very nice run for us.